It's a tiresome job. And our shift starts at about six in the morning. You wake up, you go to an operational briefing in camp, and then you drive out here as soon as you can. So they're out here about 14 to 16 hours a day. That requires physical and mental strength. For many of those crews, that just means a lot of hiking and walking up these hills in rugged terrain. So they have to come in in shape. They are the firefighters who battle New Mexico's wildfires. When fires first start, local departments respond. But once fires in our state get out of hand, other crews are called to action. The incident management team comes in with a lot of resources uh, to be able to handle the fire as it's grown. Mike McMillan is a part of the team. He is a task force leader with the Southwest Area Incident Management Team 2. The team helps mitigate wildfires in Arizona, New Mexico, and part of Texas. They bring a lot of resources with them uh, from finance, logistics, operations, planning, uh, all the food, everything that firefighters need to, uh, to survive and thrive here. But when wildfires strike, the incident management team does not come to New Mexico alone. On the ground, you have the hotshot crews. Those are federal hotshot crews, 20 to 25 person uh, hotshot crews, tough as nails, billy goats in the mountain. The Southwest hotshot crew serves New Mexico. The team travels from Arizona and they carry a reputation. It's the best firefighters in the business really when it comes to uh, what we do out here. Then there are type six engine crews. They also travel from surrounding states. They look like uh, glorified pickup trucks. They have great access into into narrow roads. All different crews playing a pivotal role in keeping the land and people safe. Wildland firefighting is not a high paying job. And you know, from my experience, it's extremely rewarding to to go to an incident and have an impact on it to 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 put it out to save values at risk.